Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Alex here and today I'm gonna be talking about my current sneaker rotation. I've been slacking hard. I haven't done a video in what, two weeks now? Like I have a lot of ideas, a lot of videos I wanna do, but <sighs> let me start off with my excuses. Why I haven't been posting videos. So, my computer. My computer is so freaking slow, man. I can't seem to edit. I'm using Final Cut, and each time I make a little cut, it, it'll take like, what, three minutes to freaking render? It's so annoying. So I'm using a MacBook Pro from 2011. 2011, guys. That's what, seven years? Maybe eight years? Because the 2011 probably it was made, what, in 2010? So it's probably like 2010 technology. So imagine that. So I did upgrade the um, hard drive. So I was using an SSD, standard state drive, I think it's called. I don't know if that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. I'm not claiming I'm a computer whiz. And I'm currently gonna upgrade the, um, the RAM because it has a four gigabyte RAM and it's only upgradable up to an eight gigabyte. And I think that's still kind of slow, but I mean, four versus eight. Eight's gonna be twice as fast. So I'm gonna do that. Today's computers, I, I think they go up to 16 gigabytes, the new MacBook Pros, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, so I'm gonna do that. So hopefully that helps. That's gonna motivate me to actually freaking edit videos because I do have a lot of videos stored in my hard drive. I just can't seem to edit them, man. It takes forever, it's so annoying. But anyways, back to the video. Um, my current sneaker rotation. Now, I know these are somewhat new and they're really, really hype. A lot of them are Yeezys. Yes, Yeezys, I love Yeezys. Who doesn't? So, I don't wanna hear it. Like, you're all about the hype, blah, blah. It's what I like right now. Who doesn't like the newest, trendiest thing? Like, let's be honest, you feel me? So, where do I start? Let's start over here. Let's start with the classic Ultra Boost. The classic Ultra Boost right here. Now, I'm not claiming I'm a sneakerhead, and I, I know I should have done my research before filming this video, but I like having conversations. I like people commenting on the video, so if I'm wrong, correct me, but don't try to freaking bash me, bro. Don't be like, you're an idiot, you don't know crap, blah, blah. Bro, like, who cares if I don't know the exact information? This is not a video for you to learn. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing you what I like right now, what I'm actually wearing, what I'm rotating. So these are the Ultra Boost. Now again, correct me if I'm wrong, but these are the 2.0s with the Continental Rubber at the bottom. These are super comfortable, man. One of my favorites. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them in white because, you know, it's hard to take care of, but I sprayed them with Crep Protect. It seemed to help, man, because they're, they're still pretty white. Uh, I think they're like two years old or something like that, and they're one of my most comfortable shoes. If you've never worn Ultra Boost technology, bro, you're slacking. What are you doing? Look, they're so beat, dude. Like, they're starting ripping from here. Like, come on, wear your shoes, people, wear your shoes. I like comfort more than anything, so. These, one of my favorites. Now, the next one down the line are, of course, some Yeezy V2s, blue tints. I love the V2s. They look better than the V1s, but I feel like the V1s are more comfortable. For some reason, when I wear these, after like two hours, uh, my feet start to hurt. And I don't mean like, like, dang, I'm in pain, I can't walk. It's just like, it's like super tight here. So I don't know if it's just me or anybody else has this problem, but other than that, they're pretty comfortable. I mean, boost, you can't go wrong with boost. boost. You can't go wrong with boost. You can't go wrong with boost. Again, so the V2s, like those two. And down the line, we got the OG Pirate Blacks. So Adidas 350s, V1s. They're hella warm, bro. And I know they re-released. Uh, so this is the, the first release. The first release. Look, they're already ripping from here. I guess they had some. I know a lot of people were complaining about this. They just ripped from there. And no, they're not Fugazis. Why? Because all of my shoes I bought from the actual, uh, what do you call it? Like these I got from adidas.com. Like all my Yeezys I got from adidas.com or yeezysupply.com. I never buy resale, never buy resale. If I don't get them retail, then boom, it's not meant to be. I'm not gonna pay the extra money. Doesn't matter how much I love the shoe, I won't see myself paying extra money. So I know for a fact these are 100% real because I got them straight from the source. So yeah guys, these are hella beat. 
These are actually half the size, smaller than what I usually go with. I'm a 10 and these were a nine and a half and I just couldn't seem to get a, a size swap. Nobody wanted to do it and I actually took the insole out and they still kind of fit kind of snug. Like you can see my toes, but I mean, it works, it works. So next up is the recent uh, Jordans that released this year, Jordan 1's red toes, classic Jordan 1's, classic colorway. One of my favorites, red, black, and white. Goes with everything. So as you can tell, these are hella beat. I mean, but they look good when they're beat, so I don't mind it, you know? These I got from the sneakers app. It was my first W in the sneakers app, man. So many L's I took it in the sneakers app and my first W, let's go. All right, what's next? These, a lot of people hate these. A lot of people hate these, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They're so freaking just, oh my God, they're so wide. So chunky, but I like them. I like something that's weird, something that's fresh. Like what the heck are those? Those are the type of shoes that I like. And, I mean, they're easy, man, I ain't gonna lie. Yup, call me a, a D rider, whatever you want to call me, but I like Yeezys. Except the Calabasas. I bought those um, black Calabasas Power Face. Bro, those are disgusting. They just do not look good on me. I mean, I seen them, I seen my, uh, one of my good friends wear them and they look good on him. Shout out to my boy Kevin. I sold into them and they look good on them. Maybe it's just, I don't know what it is, but I hate how they looked on feet on me, so I sold those. Those are probably the only Yeezys that I freaking hate. I hate those, but yeah, these, look, I've been rocking these a lot. Actually, these, I feel like they're way more comfortable than uh, the 350s. For some reason, they don't even have boost, but for some reason, they're super comfortable, man. I don't know what it is. Is it the chunkiness that there's more room for your foot to just, just relax and chill, have some movement? I don't know what it is, but man, they're comfortable. All right, so what's next? Oh my God, I love these. Ooh, I love these. The Wave Runners, Yeezy Wave Runners. I'm in love with the color. The freaking colors are amazing. My gosh. I mean, the little hint of orange here, the freaking little light yellow laces, the greens, the grays. Ooh, and these do have boost in them. But I still feel like the blush are way more comfortable, even though these do not have boost. I feel like they're more comfortable than these. For some reason, these after like two, three hours of wearing them, I get tired in them. And it, and it seems to be like from the front. So I don't know if it's because they're narrow from the front. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what it is to be honest, but it has boost, so I don't get it. I don't get it. What else? My first off-white sneakers, bro. Retail. You know what I'm saying? I kept the blue lace and the black lace. Just something different. Now these are kind of hard to wear. You really gotta have some, I wouldn't, I don't wanna say skinny jeans, but you gotta have some really tapered jeans for them to look good. I mean, you don't wanna be having some baggy ass jeans or pants or whatever you're wearing. And I don't wear shorts. I don't like wearing shorts. So I seen some people wearing with shorts, they look good, but I don't feel comfortable wearing shorts. I'm more of a jean, pants type of guy, track pants. But yeah guys, these, they're pretty comfortable. I mean, they're not ultra boost comfortable. I, I still think ultra boost is one of the most uh, comfortable material out there. Um, these are kind of, yeah, I mean, they're comfortable, but they're not like ultra boost. Now I do want to try the Nike Epic Reacts. I haven't tried those. I know they're kind of like competing with the, the boost technology. So I'm curious to see how those feel. So yeah, guys, I've been wearing these a lot. And now one of my favorite shoes. I love this colorway. OGs, uh, they actually go for a lot of money. Turtle doves, turtle doves. Not for gazes, cause I got them straight from adidas.com guys. Look, I've been rocking the crap out of them. I put hella miles, man. I took these to New York. I recently went to New York like what, two months ago and I put hella miles, hella miles on them. Man, one of my favorite ones. They just look so good with some stonewashed denim jeans. You know, classic, and a white tee, and a dope little jacket over, look fresh. I'm thinking about doing a video of, 
of how to rock, in my opinion, certain shoes. Because like these type of shoes and like the off-whites, you need tapered jeans and some people don't get that. They'll like wear like straight cut and it can make or break your whole outfit, man, your whole shoe game. So let me know if I should do a video, I mean, in my opinion of how you should wear certain type of shoes. Because like these, you can't wear tapered jeans with these. Like, have you guys seen Drake wearing these? They look funny, bro. He's wearing, actually the pants I'm wearing right now. Look, he's wearing these Adidas. I don't know what they are, like soccer type track pants. They're like hella tapered from the bottom. With these, they look, nah, 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 bro, no. Nah. But anyways, let's move along. Ooh. These are probably my second best sneakers in my rotation right now, right behind the Ultra Boost. Can't go wrong with some classic Vans, bro. Some classic Vans. I wear these a lot. Dude, like these look good. Again, with tapered jeans, you know, that distressed denim. They're just classic, man. Classic. All right, moving, moving along. Oh, shoot, it's actually my last shoe. My last shoe. I wouldn't say these are in my current rotation. I was about to wear them the other day until I saw pictures of the off-white Prestos, the black colorway and the white colorway that are coming out. And I, I stopped myself from wearing them. Why? Because the Prestos are so freaking clean, man. I want those. I actually wanted the, the ones that first came out, but dude, they're going for a lot, a lot. I think right now in StockX, the size 10, my size, they're going for like 1700. Hell no, bro. For those of you that saw my camping video when I got these, I actually got two pairs, I already sold one. I might sell this one just to get money to buy the Prestos, or I might keep them for trade bait. So I'm not sure. Because the white shoe, I mean, yes, I can use Crep Protect, but bro, like, I don't know if you noticed, but some of my shoes are hella messed up. I hardly clean them. And these, bro, I'm gonna mess them up. I already know, I'm gonna mess them up. So I might sell these. Oh! And actually, today, let me show you guys what I caught. Dude, I'm so excited. Let me show you guys. Let me pull up the picture real quick. It's gonna be real quick. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Let me focus that. Got him. Yes. But I actually voted for these a year and a half ago. I remember when uh, the voting came out, all the designers had their designs up, and I actually voted for these. And I guess today they re-released and uh, only the, the people that voted had an exclusive offer uh, for us to buy. So I saw them randomly. People kept posting on Instagram. I'm like, what? Let me check real quick. Sneakers app, boom. You have an exclusive offer. You have the chance to purchase these shoes. Hit it real quick. I'm like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And then boom, confirm. Like, you, you got them. I'm like, no way, let's go. So. I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, guys, let me know what's your favorite shoe here. I know these are all hype. Um, I do have other shoes, um, a lot of Air Jordans. I sold most of them. I had like the Dornbeckers. Uh, I had the Dornbecker 9s. I sold those for like 550 or something like that. Um, I sold my Bread 4s, my Bread 11s. Um, I still have some Air Jordan 23s, 22s. I have some Baron 9s. Uh, I have a whole bunch of Nike Roshis or Rochers, whatever you guys want to call them. You guys remember those? Those were freaking hot at one point. I have a lot of those. Um, I have a whole bunch of other Vans, but I'm sticking with these for now. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out, guys. Stay positive. Music, this ain't entertainment. The hype stuff that you talk is overplayed and overrated.